Hello and welcome to this Soton Brain Hub video on chemical signaling and postsynaptic receptors. To begin, let's have a look at a neuronal synapse. A synapse is a junction between a neuron and another cell. This other cell is often also a neuron. The neuron from which the signal is coming from is called the presynaptic cell. The axon of the neuron in this image is labeled as the presynaptic terminal. The cell receiving the signal is the postsynaptic neuron. The space between the presynaptic and postsynaptic cells is referred to as the synaptic cleft. Neurotransmitters are stored in synaptic vesicles within the presynaptic cell. As an action potential travels through the neuron, it facilitates an influx of calcium ions into the cell. These calcium ions then instigate the fusion of synaptic vesicles with the plasma membrane of the presynaptic cell. Once the vesicles have fused with the plasma membrane, their contents can be released into the synaptic cleft. The neurotransmitters are therefore able to diffuse through the synaptic cleft and bind to receptors located on the postsynaptic neuron. Let's have a look at these receptors in a bit more detail. The first type we're going to discuss today are called inotropic receptors. This is a receptor coupled with an ion channel, which opens in response to a neurotransmitter binding to the receptor site. Inotropic receptors generate fast responses for a short duration. Some examples of inotropic receptors include nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, NMDA and AMPA receptors, GABA-A receptors, and serotonin type 3 receptors. Let's see how this works. The neurotransmitters, shown in red here, are released from the presynaptic neuron and enter the synaptic cleft. Here, they diffuse through to reach the postsynaptic cell where they bind to their receptor sites. There are various ions, shown here in purple, which are floating around in the synaptic cleft. Once the neurotransmitters have bound to their receptor sites, the ion channels open and allow for the influx of ions from the synaptic cleft. This allows for the electrical transmission or action potential to be passed on to the next neuron. Now, let's have a look at another type of receptor called the metabotropic receptor. Neurotransmitters from the synaptic cleft bind to a receptor site, which is linked to downstream intracellular metabolic steps through G protein for signaling cascades. For this reason, metabotropic receptors are often called G protein coupled receptors. Some examples of metabotropic receptors include muscarinic acetylcholine receptors, adrenoceptors, GABA-B receptors, and serotonin type 1 receptors. Let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. The neurotransmitter binds to the metabotropic receptor's binding site. The receptor is coupled with a G protein, shown in black here, which also binds other downstream molecules or effector proteins. These proteins can open or close other ion channels. Once an ion channel is open, ions, shown in blue here, can enter the postsynaptic cell in order to propagate a potential and continue the chemical signaling. Through these chemical events, messages can be passed on from one neuron to another. Well, this concludes our video. I hope that this has been a clear explanation of chemical signaling and postsynaptic receptors, and that it has helped you understand the mechanisms through which neurons communicate with each other. See you soon!